Hi everyone and welcome on Adobe Live. This is the second day of the graphic design and packaging show and uh, we will end the day with Kenny. How are you Kenny today? Good, good. Yeah, doing good? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so we had a full day, you know, like uh, we we started with Anne and then uh, we had Nick, we just had Cecilia and yeah. uh, uh, this is the afternoon for us. We are live from San Francisco. I see Laura is still here, Anton, Denise. Wow, thanks for watching. S thanks for uh, staying with us. And uh, you all have been very impressed by Kenny yesterday. You, you were like, oh my God, he's so fast, <laughs> illustrator. Um, yes, yeah, so he will show what he was working on today. But if you missed the first episode, you can watch the replay. It's already available on the Creative Code YouTube channel. We also invite you to create and share pictures uh, produced with Adobe Dimension, which is a new application of creative cloud so keep sharing and we will give away creative cloud subscription thanks for watching so kenny you want to uh, maybe show what you are working on explain Absolutely. the project and the concept yeah so uh we're kind of uh, building on what we uh were working on yesterday which is a uh, a beer company and a beer label mm -hmm. um so this is where we kind of ended up last time we okay. actually started to bring the design into uh you know the the label template that i've kind of already made um, and today we'll kind of work more on this and then also um, start to, you know, kind of preview it in uh, Adobe Dimension to, to see what it's starting to look look like actually on the can. Okay. So, yeah, that's where we're at today. Yeah, awesome. And uh, also uh, we experimented yesterday. Yeah, thanks for reminding me, Reda, uh, some uh, live critique with Kenny. Yeah. It was very tough. <laughs> very tough. Uh, <laughs> live portfolio reviews critique. So we will do more today. We'll try to do more. Yesterday we did two as an experiment. Yeah. So I will let you know uh, when we want to do some portfolio reviews and uh, you will just have to not raise your hand because uh, you cannot raise your hand in the chat, but just let us know. Please review my portfolio, okay? But we'll do it later uh, because Kenny, he still, have, uh, he still uh, has a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. <laughs> what uh, would you be working on next? What is your plan for today? So I'm going to kind of fill out this label a little bit more, make sure everything is, uh, uh, you know, fitting nicely within the uh, label kind of template. Okay. Um, so this section that I kind of have highlighted, filling that in with some more information about this kind of made up, uh, you know, uh, beer company, and then mm -hmm. also filling the more, uh, the boring side of the label. Um, and then I'll also be kind of uh, exploring some more colors and then um, using Adobe Dimension to kind of, um, you know, mock that up. Okay. Cool. Yeah, let's Sweet. do that. All right. So you told me that you get the opportunity to see the bridge in real life? Yeah, yeah. I, I, it looks pretty close, so I'm pretty happy with, <laughs> <laughs> with uh, how it turned out. So how did you get there? Um, I actually, like, I Ubered, uh, I Ubered down to, like, uh, the pier. Yeah, the pier, yeah, the and the I pier. walked from there. It was a pretty good walk. <laughs> And it says the Vector Bridge is amazing. Yeah, you should watch the replay to see how he he was uh, copy pasting, uh, <laughs> duplicating the lines using the keyboards. It was quite impressive. And he used also the Snap Grid feature in your Twitter yep. uh, to make sure that everything was in proportion. It was awesome. So I see some familiar names. So let me know in the chat who watched uh, who watched today from episode. Like the first show, the second one, the third show, and now this is the fourth show. Mm -hmm. So who was in the chat with us since this morning, I would say, but maybe it was the afternoon for you, but since the show with Anne. Hi, Paul from Sweden. Laura, you, you did. Oh, okay. Anton, you, you, you watch all the shows. Oh, my God. Jesus Corona, thanks for sharing. Kevin, you watch everything. Wow. Isoto, you were with us all day. Okay, this is awesome. So we are live on Behance. Uh, if, if this is the first time you're experiencing the Adobe Live show, we will be uh, live every week, uh, every Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 9 a.m. Pacific time to 5 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, so if you are in Europe, it starts around 5 p.m., 6 p.m., depending on where you are. And... Um, Next week, we will have illustrators and digital painters. There are some uh, new features in Illustrator and also in Photoshop, which are really awesome. Um, 
if you miss that, we announce that at Max. But if you use brushes in Photoshop, Creative Cloud members can now access uh, Kai's brushes, which is a set of professional brushes by Kai Webster. Hi, Muge, welcome back. I remember this name also. Onose, you're watching from Nigeria, Africa. Wow, awesome. So why are you working on Kenny now? Uh, right now, just kind of uh, filling this section out just okay. so I can kind of duplicate it over to this other side. Okay. So let's say this is the front of the can, okay, with a bell L and some basic information. So uh, on the other side, so here, what, what, what type of information will you add? Um, I'm going to add, like, uh, how to drink it, like, um, you know, like to keep it cold, like keep cold, uh -huh. um, you know, pour in a glass, that type of thing. Um, <laughs> don't pour in your hand. Yeah, don't pour it in your yeah. hand. Don't try to, like, <laughs> <laughs> don't pour it on the table and try to drink it up or something. <laughs> So I'll probably use Snap to Grid again um, for just making these kind of like icons yep. for the label. Just the more descriptors um, to go on a can like this just makes it feel a little bit more craft. <laughs> uh, no, so it's the first time you're watching uh, a show live on Behance. That this is awesome. Thanks for watching. And honestly, I think it was you watching from uh, Nigeria, no? from Africa. Okay, let's see if we have an interna international uh, audience. Okay. <laughs> Let us know where you're watching from. I want to see if we have the f uh, all the continents. So we have or Onose from Africa. That's one. I think I think I saw Sweden, no? Which uh, would be Europe. Let me know in the chat. Argentina, okay, we have South America, Paris, we have Europe, California, North America, Estonia, Europe, anyone in Asia? LA, Egypt, Africa, okay, Montreal, oh, merci Leticia, Hong Kong, hey, Grisha, thanks to you, we have Asia, okay, so this is fully international. Australia would be surprised. It's very, very late. Or maybe very early, actually. Maybe there someone is waking up and watching from Australia and New Zealand. If it's the case, let us know in the chat. Uh, Red Eye is asking, what is the meaning of pale ale? Oh, because maybe... It's a, just a type of beer. Yeah, it's a type of beer. And the... It's and like the, a flavor almost, Yeah, if you will. So it's sort of like in French, for instance. No, I mean, it's getting more and more. But like five years ago, we would not specify the type of beer oh but really yeah a beer was a beer you know like a <laughs> uh, blonde beer or dark beer and that was it right but now they start mentioning is it an ipa is it a pale right. leg lager mm -hmm. um but this is quite recent so i'm not surprised like uh like five years ago i would have had the, the same question what is a pale l i had no idea so i'm gonna export this really quick just to, to put it into dimension into a can. Yeah, that's um, right. I mean, just to see how this like kind of front area is <laughs> kind of fitting in there. <laughs> and again, dimension has been released two weeks ago, so we are still uh, all learning how to use it. You know? I'm the first, like learning uh, every day. I discovered some new tricks today. I use Adobe Capture to take uh, to create a material. Like you oh, can use okay. your mobile phone, take a, a picture of uh, this, or I use my skin. It was very, it was bad. <laughs> uh, but then uh, I could apply my skin on a 3D object. Yeah. And just using Adobe Capture, your phone, and it awesome. create a texture. Yeah. But it was creepy. It was, creepy. <laughs> it was okay for Halloween. So I'm going to just import my 3D model, which I have a, a, a can here. Okay. And then I'm going to see if I remember how to do this place as a graphic uh, decal and bring in the label that I have that I just exported. Okay. Not 100% done yet, but just so you can see. Oh. And now you can resize. Yeah. Okay, you can move it down, rotate. Awesome. 
Good I'll job. Go ahead and zoom in on that a little bit. You can kind of see how it's coming yeah. along. You want to find a nice uh, background? Yeah, that would be awesome. I'm, I'm uh, not what can we use? Yeah, yeah, let's try to put it on this table. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now it will analyze the picture. You see, you click on OK on the right. Okay. It will analyze the picture to try to make um, the light and also the perspective of the plan. You oh, see? okay, awesome. And uh, so now, okay, let's try to maybe use this tool mm -hmm. and take the horizon and maybe move it down. down. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Like that. And then maybe we can uh, move here the can. Okay, so you have different, Oof. yeah, yeah. Move away, move away. Okay, here maybe. How do I make it? Let me. What do you want to do? I think I. It feels like it's on a flat plane where this it looks like it's kind of go up back in 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 the space a little bit. Like maybe it needs yeah, to be more. Could, yeah. Could I have that? Could I maybe move it up a little bit? Yeah. So to move it up, you click on the yeah. This one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, and uh, so you can do a fast uh, preview if you click on the third icon here, just so we get a feel of the light. Okay. Okay, and then if we feel that it's too dark. Yeah, maybe a little bit too dark. Okay, so you can click on the environment here, and this is where you can uh, change the intensity of the light. And also, if you do rotation, it will reflect what is in the room, you know. Oh, awesome. So here there is no special stuff, but maybe you want to do that and uh, so it says sunlight if you uncheck sunlight what does it do yeah it will do a hard light coming from the back okay because the window is there so um sunlight. i think the label is a little kind of off in there so i guess you need to click on the decal yeah, yeah. and now you okay, maybe. it feels like it's still not as big as it needs to be yeah you think it could be bigger yeah, it feels like it's not quite going all the way. Oh. Um, maybe we want to take the can out of it. But just seeing it on the can is kind of cool just to see yeah. that that front panel really is like if this was sitting on a shelf that all that information is is pretty legible and that that's where it's kind of going. Stefan says dimension looks really amazing. Can try to try it out. Yeah, please. You can download the free trial if you want and try it. If you are a member of Creative Cloud, it's uh, in your apps. Cool. <laughs> Bea says I would drink this because it looks so cool. Just, <laughs> just because it looks so cool. Uh, okay, so, so let's try this one. So you can switch to the render view, and then on the right you decide you want a PSD. Let's try a PSD. Okay, cool. And uh, render it. So you have, you, you see, different KTs. So with lows, it will do like just a few passes. Okay. Just to try. Right. Actually, it looks uh, quite good, actually. But it's still uh, it's a bit grainy. You right. Know, because this is low quality. If you want to try with high, you can, but it will take 30 minutes. Right, right. To render okay. a picture. Um, but I will show you something very cool after. Okay. So now if you open the, oh, open in Photoshop. Oh. Nice. I didn't know you had this. Okay, so look at the layers on the right. You see? Uh, the can is in a separate layer. Right, right here. Yeah, so if you want to add text behind, this is something oh, possible. Oh, okay, cool. You can also just select the layer of the can. This one? Just, uh, yeah, if you select, uh, click on the layer here. And uh, now you can also adjust the level. Oh, okay, cool. See what I mean? To make it more look more uh, realistic. Right. Or adjust the light that you want, you know. Uh, Right. The vignette, I mean, whatever. W once you have the PSD, it's really nice. Yeah, because you can like mess with it individually because it's exactly okay. Cool. And you will have yeah. Cool. Sure, and uh, if you if you display this uh, group of layers, yeah, here, you have different mask. You know, so you have the mask selection. If you mm -hmm. want to select just one area, just the can, or just the table, or the plan. Or the table and the and can. And you have also depth information. You know. Oh, okay, gotcha. That shows you like. Uh, where it like kind of blurs out. Blurs, then it's far away. Gotcha. Yeah. Very cool. Mm. 
But good job. You figured it out. Yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> I'm getting used to it. <laughs> so right now I'm just going to make a few icons. Um, mm -hmm. And we invite you to share what you create with uh, Dimension. Actually, you have two entries. There is one, I'm not sure if it was uh, showcased during the previous episode, but in the doubt, I will showcase it again, okay? Uh, so we have uh, this one, White Wolf. What do you think about the White Wolf? Yeah, I think. Yeah, nice uh, logo. Yeah, it looks. Yeah, and it's on the same table. Yeah, it's on the <laughs> same table. Everyone, everyone loves that table. <laughs> and uh, we have also a skull. Oh, that's uh, really This cool. time it's using uh, like a real picture, I guess. Uh, right, right. In this case, the designer took a picture of uh, their desk to add a skull with uh, their own uh, texture, like their own map. Right. Uh, it looks like the the Mexican. Uh, Oh yeah, like the the death. Uh, yeah, the king yeah. skull. Or I am not, sure. not entirely sure. <laughs> oh, it looks great. Yeah, that's awesome. Sitting on the table. Yeah, good job. And if you render a PSD file, you can play with the labels to optimize the light. But keep sharing because at the end of the show, we will ask uh, Kenny the one, which one he prefers, and it's, you can get a chance to win one year Creative Cloud subscription. If you're already a member, it will extend your membership. Okay, so what is this game? I am making like a snowflake to, to represent, snowflake. To, to keep it cold. Oh, <laughs> keep it cold. Yeah. <laughs> the day of the dead. Thank you, Yasmina. Which is very playful with a lot of colors because the day of the dead in France is a very dark, very dramatic. Glenn is asking, is this live cast done in Adobe Captivate? No. We're using Luch YouTube Live uh, as a platform. So that's why the replays are all available on the Creative Cloud YouTube channel. And the software, it's not an Adobe software actually that we use to live stream. It's called Wirecast. It's edited by a Telestream. Uh, Liana, you should be able to try Dimension. So th there might be another reason. Uh, Liana, let me check the system requirements. If you are a Windows user, you need to be on Windows 10 anniversary update. Maybe that's why. Yeah, Alexandre, who is French, says uh, that he prefers to the Mexican Day of Death mm -hmm. of the Death version. Yeah, I agree. This is a nice snowflake, and now this is uh, the. Like, it's like a. Yeah, this is like the, the like beer in a glass. Uh, don't pour in your hand. That's yeah, it. don't pour in your hand. <laughs> Maybe you can have a hand and. <laughs> uh, you have Windows 10, so you should be able. Uh, because two weeks ago we reset the trial mode for everyone and all the apps. I just have the photography subscription, but still, yeah, you should be able to try. I'm, I'm surprised. Oh yeah, Liana, she has the Creative Cloud photography plan. So okay. it gives you access to uh, uh, Photoshop, Lightroom, but now we have two Lightrooms because there is a, a new Lightroom CC that we announced two weeks ago. Oh, nice. Uh, where everything, like every time you do an edit, you take a picture with your phone or desktop, everything is uh, synced in the cloud. So all your pictures, like the raw files, mm -hmm. everything is stored in the cloud. Oh, very cool. And you can access them from the browser and make some edits, like you have Lightroom in the browser. Um, and um, previous version, which is this desktop base, is now called uh, Lightroom CC uh, Classic, mm -hmm. just to show the difference. But of course, if you have a desktop workflow, you can use Lightroom CC Classic. We will have uh, photographers live 
um, on Adobe Live in December, taking pictures live oh, in this cool. studio. Yeah. Oh, awesome. <laughs> and uh, retouching the picture with a new Lightroom CC. Has it already been two weeks since Max? Yes, Adam. So which one is this one? I'm doing the can now. Ah, oh, nice. That's right. So it's uh, the name of the effect is shear. Yeah, shears it. It just makes it look like a sure kind of like cracked open. Tilt. Yeah. Huh. Nice. Yeah, I don't do. I don't use the uh, effect enough in uh, Illustrator. I tend to directly draw with the pen. You know? Right. Uh, but this is a good trick. And uh, this morning with Nick, he tried the new uh, Puppet Warp tool. Have you seen this one? Oh, no. Is that in Illustrator? <laughs> That's crazy. I tried to see if I, if I, find, a, if I find a character, but I don't think I have one. Let me see, maybe we have a tutorial. Son says he, he he likes the the blend mode in Illustrator. Is this something that you use sometimes in Illustrator? Multiply or um, overlay? I usually usually use that in in, uh, in Photoshop. Photoshop, right? yeah. yeah. Me too. I don't know why I've already been scared of using the blend mode in Illustrator because of the printers, but right. Which yeah. doesn't make any sense actually, but <laughs> just me. these icons keep cold what will you say here uh, crack open I guess <laughs> crack open <laughs> nice. yes keep cold crack open and uh, pour in a glass that's the yeah that's um, a tutorial or, or drink slowly <laughs> drink slowly <laughs> together looking for the new tool in Illustrator, but I forgot to update, so <laughs> I could look for it. <laughs> I'll just update now. It will be easier. Did the graphs will be improved in Illustrator? 
Uh, what do you mean, Aston? You mean like uh, the pie chart, this type of stuff? Uh, Laura is asking what uh, what is the shortcut you're using to arrange the layers, you know, like bring to the top or bring to the back. Um, bring usually, to the front. Of the I back. think that's command bracket, uh, yeah. command brackets yeah, to, to move to uh, forward and backward. And maybe oh. you can use command shift brackets if you want to. It's really awesome to use the layer panel. I know it's you use it more in Photoshop, but mm -hmm. um, it's awesome to kind of arrange your layers, um, which I'll do. You know, I usually do that um, with any you know product packaging is uh, you know organizing my layers making sure you know background colors um, are on one layer and then maybe some of these uh, you know top layers or even some sections you divide into uh, different layers just easier to work for that way okay and make sure things don't get lost Uh, we have a new entry for the contest, the Fiji style hot and sweet chili chutney. And this is used with the, the 3D? That looks awesome. Yeah. I mean, the depth of field works really yeah, well. Yeah, it looks yeah. really good. Who did that? Is it Wehan? Yeah. Let us know in the chat who did this and uh, how you use dimension. Was it easy to use? Well, the packaging looks very well. I really like when you add uh, metallic elements, like your can or you know, on the right, right on the top here. Yeah, it's really standing out. I really like it. Okay, so we have the three. We have the tutorial. Yeah, we have we have these <laughs> little just in case you don't know how to drink. Yeah. So once you have a can like this, like let's say uh, that uh, for this brand you have to create the one for IPA or mm -hmm. Lager, uh, what would you do? Like, would you play with the colors to have give a different mood? Or yeah, I'll, I'll do a couple of different um, uh, skews. Um, okay. What what I'd probably do is maybe change this kind of this bottom bar right here. Um, oh, okay. So let's say if it was an IPA and. Maybe the yellows change to more of like a, a red color, mm -hmm. um, you know, just messing around like that. Okay. Um, that could kind of differentiate, or the other way around. Maybe kind of get rid of the gold, and maybe that becomes a different color. Mm -hmm. um, it makes it easy once you uh, introduce um, global colors um, in your swatch palette to kind of change colors to everything at the same time, which I'll show you um, here in a little bit. Ahmed is asking if you're using uh, Illustrator every day. Yeah, pretty much. Um, that's my kind of go-to program. Same as pho like Photoshop is too, but more Illustrator. Illustrator okay. is usually where I start, and then um, Photoshop comes in next. <laughs> Paul is asking global colors. Yeah. Yeah. You have global colors in Illustrator. So I'll just go ahead and add global color right now just to kind of show oh, you thanks that. for showing that yeah a lot of users are not aware of global colors which is something uh, so it's really awesome. awesome yeah so let's do the yellow color I'll just drop it into my swatch palette right over here double click it and then there's a button right here that says um, global yeah um, so you click that and you hit OK I'll go ahead and make sure that all of these yeah. yellows are you need to select color. the object and make sure right. that you click in the swatch on your global color. Right. So now that all of these are, you know, in that global, you see whenever you select the yellow, it is highlighted over here in your swatch panel. So you can go over here and you can adjust and um, click the preview button, and it'll change your your yellow to, you know, whatever you want it to be. You know, if we wanted it to be like nice. a really kind of. Um, of like fiery orange we could do that really easily especially when you have a more complex um yeah kind of label um just makes it easier to change colors that way i'm kind of liking the way that looks so i'm gonna have you ever used this is something i was showing to nick but to use sometimes uh where is it 
this. Do you know this one? Uh, recolor artwork. Yeah, I use recolor artwork to. Um, with this one, I'm kind of wor I'm just working in RGB. Um, just, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm working in RGB just because for previews and um, just to to f get the feel of what the actual colors are going to look like. Mm -hmm. um, I'll recolor the artwork um, to change to Pantone colors um, and adjust from there. Okay. So oh, this is uh, yeah, in the workflow. This is when you do. Okay. Yeah. So like, um, I didn't know there was an actual button for it. So it's, it's right uh, here, right? Yeah. Okay. So what you can do. So I show you how easy it is for what you were talking about. So let's say you work on the IPA. Mm -hmm. So I will duplicate this artboard mm -hmm. and uh, try to get a feel for the IPA one. Okay. So I will. So it, it will it will just work on what you select. Okay. So okay. I select this. So it will pick the colors from there. On. Right. Okay. And then I would go in edit, and it will show me here. So what you can do is link everything. To keep the same uh, contrast. Oh, awesome! And you can try different stuff, or you can unlink and say, "Okay, this blue around something greenish," and this doesn't make any sense. So maybe something here, right? You know, and just uh, try different stuff. Yeah, it's definitely it definitely makes that easier to, um, you know, mess around because you know, selecting every single thing yeah, one by one. <laughs> It just <laughs> it takes forever. And here it's cool because you just play with uh, like four to five colors, so it's super easy to, to tweak the design. Yeah, and and usually what I'll do is if I want to recolor the artwork, I'll, I'll click here and I'll go to color box and and. Oh, and you use the colors from the printers like yeah, the future ones. Right, and, and it'll it, it, right, and then it'll automatically change it to those. Nice. That makes it really easy, especially when you absolutely need Pantone mm. colors. It's a good trick. Yeah, it's a, an amazing trick to to get that. I didn't know this one. Yeah, makes sense. So Penton Color Lara, yeah, with weaker artwork, you make sure like you can choose a, a color palette and you can force it to use Penton colors. So that's what he did. So when he talks to the printer, he can give the reference to the Penton. And usually, what you see, I mean, you can have a, what's the name of the Penton? Uh, yeah. So the the color Pantones color. the Pantones uh, appear over here in the swatches panel whenever oh, um, you recolor the artwork. Then. So they actually tell you nice. see it hovering over these. Um, it tells you exact um, Pantone colors. Now, when it does recolor the artwork, it's not always 100%. You know, whenever you do recolor mm -hmm. um, artwork, it doesn't always come up with the best solution. So you can kind of you you kind of have to change it accordingly. So yeah, I wanted to show you the new uh, Puppet Web Tool in Illustrator. Okay, cool. Okay. So I just went on Adobe Stock to download the vector illustration because mm -hmm. this is something you can do also with uh, stock, you know, just download the icons, vectors. Right. So these are not only pictures. Uh, and uh, so actually you see I have the real vectors. The vector, yeah. okay. So that's, that's useful. And uh, so when you have something like this, you can use the Puppet Web Tool and, s and uh, add, uh, you know, when you rig a character, mm -hmm. So I will do some constraints here, maybe here, try to do something like this. And now I can move here and put it there, you know. And oh, wow, that makes it easy for, for animating too, I would imagine. See, so yeah, That's awesome. you can add more constraints and... Uh <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so here it's good for uh, for characters, but then with uh, Nick, if you watch the replay of the episode uh, of today's episode, we use it for a banner. Oh, you know cool. something random. Yeah. But we wanted it to follow the text with uh, some smooth curves, and mm -hmm. we we added some points, and 
That's awesome. And it was a very cool distortion. That is, that is very cool. So yeah, I invite you to try this. This is in the new illustrator that we released uh, two weeks ago also at Max. So it's a uh, new illustrator. Let me show you. 2000. Yeah, version 22. Two thousand seventeen. Uh, Eighteen. I'm confused. Yeah, the new one. Did you uh, uh, have the opportunity to work on the packaging for a drink before? Yeah. Um, so I've I've done a, a few uh, beer can labels and I've also done some some coffee packaging as well. So pretty familiar with like the requirements for these types of things. Yeah. Uh, Adam is asking you: Do you keep a sketchbook of ideas? I do. <laughs> yeah. Um, Pretty much with anything. Um, it's great to always have that kind of like nearby. Yeah. I'm gonna kind of create a badge to kind of fill this space right here. A badge? Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna move these icons that I had made. This artboard is kind of where I keep all of my different illustrations and stuff to kind of always go back to reference. Okay. So I kind of want to use what I've made here a little bit. So I'm going to put it back to snap to grid and kind of recreate this. So what would be the difference? What do you want to do? Um, I'm going to have actually like Gold Coast wrap around this. Um, okay. With an established date, um, just to give it a little bit. Ah, to add text on. I yeah. see what you mean. So I'll go ahead and spell out Gold Coast Brewing. I'll center that and then flip it over. Okay. I've been using Gotham, so I'll just go ahead and make that Gotham as well. Oh, yeah. And current it out just a hair. I'll duplicate that. Move it to the bottom. Nice. If you go to type on a path um, options, you can flip your um, type mm -hmm. back and forth um, and tell it where you want it to be at, like ah. on the descender line or the ascender line. Good job. Okay. So for so this one, I'm going to make it on the baseline. Inner. Okay. And then I'll draw one more circle to kind of go around it. The same stroke weight. And one to go inside. This one always comes off a little janky, but oh, okay. You got that. Okay. So that's kind of where I'll be putting it. There's some empty space here. Um, it kind of in the middle. Maybe I'll add some sort of like, since I have a lot of kind of like monoline elements. Maybe I'll have couple of like lines right here. Uh, our friends are asking what are the tools at the bottom of your toolbar. So maybe you have plugins, no? Maybe. Yeah, these tools I actually there's a a plugin that I that I use. Um, it wasn't that great. I forget what it's called, but <laughs> Okay, so don't don't, don't name <laughs> yeah. don't give the name if it's not that great. <laughs> they would be upset. <laughs> but these are some extensions, so I think. Yeah. <laughs> And within a few minutes, we'll review some portfolios. Be ready in the chat because when I will say we start the portfolio review, we have to be very fast and say, review my portfolio. 
type it. Maybe we can start by reviewing three. Yeah, yeah. that sounds good. Every day we. A little more, a little more. More and more. I'm creating that D shape again, or the G C um, shape. Oh, I see. Nice. Looks like a maze almost. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring that over. Make sure that the stroke weights are the same as everything else that I have going on on this page. Oh yeah. Shrink that down. It's always a mess at the beginning with this stretcher. You know, when you yeah. scale and it doesn't. Uh, scale also the stroke rate you right to find this option and check this box yeah and like oh my god so it looks like it's all of my stroke weights are, start. are pretty much the same make that a little bit smaller so uh elaine is asking if you have any recommendation uh for someone who wants to start building a portfolio like what would be um i would just focus on on uh just showcasing your best work mm -hmm. um rather than trying to show all of your work um and really crafting the, the, the kind of the story and your process behind that. Um, you know, I think I made a mistake in, in the beginning developing my own portfolio by trying to show too much. And a lot of the projects that I had weren't uh, full um, and they didn't feel like there was a lot to them. So I would focus on, on variety and, and just and, uh, and focus on the projects and, and showcasing the projects that you've done the most for, I guess. Oh, they really like the label. Yeah, good job. Cool. There we have a 360 view so you can uh, check what's happening behind the scenes. We have some, <laughs> some good moments. Uh, oh, George, very good question by uh, George Alexandru. Cool. Alexandru, oh, are you from Romania? George, let me know. Uh, how, can, how can we get featured on Behance? Do you know Kenny? Have you been featured on Behance, Kenny? I think I have. I think so. Yeah. And I think this is how I notice your work, actually. <laughs> so if you are featured on Behance, it gives you more chances to, to be invited to Adobe Live. Because I'm massively using Behance to find our guests. So to be featured on Behance, I, I've learned that um, this is a, a group of people. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many, maybe two or three, uh, who are uh, curating you know, what's happening on Behance. Mm -hmm. And they decide what they want to feature. Oh, okay. Uh, but this group of people uh, on Behance, I think, changes every month. And if you are, let's say you are a Behance employee and you become part of the group, you cannot mm -hmm. tell the other one. Oh, really? So there is no way someone who's, hey, can you please, can you feature? This is my friend. He wants right, to. Right, right. So there is no way to, yeah, to be corrupted in a way or influenced. So nobody knows who is. Uh, yeah. You know, voting for uh, who to feature on Behance. That's what I learned. Tips for starting on on Behance. So, uh, Evie, so Evie Grace, you need to understand that Behance uh, is more than just a website to uh, showcase your portfolios. It's also a social network, which means that you have to do some networking. You have to follow uh, designers that you like, you like their work, you have to give appreciations, you have to start conversations, post comments, engage conversation. And the more you will engage, the more you will get noticed also by your peers. And um, yeah, basically the more you, you are active and, and really uh, take the time to get inspired by other projects, not only the work, but the way they present their work, the story, and the behind the scenes, the first sketches from A to Z, how to create the project, like the more you share and you will see uh, it can be very fast. And uh, maybe like Kenny, you would be featured 
and then it gives a boost obviously because you you then appear in a curated gallery uh, there is one for graphic design one for motion graphics one for interactive design one for photography Uh, Spencer is asking any tutorials out there for this style, this type of illustration. Um, I mean, you, you, you can watch the replay and see how <laughs> Kenny works, but uh, uh, one of the good tricks that uh, I would remember, like in your case, is uh, use the pixel grid. Yeah, the snap to grid feature. Snap to grid feature, sorry. So, yeah, the snap to grid, which is right here, um, and then just showing the grid. Um, is always super helpful to, to plot points and, and make something that's monoline or, or just geometric. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's an awesome trick to, to have. I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate my artboard. Oh, George, you're from, you're from Cyprus. Oh my god, okay. My bad. I've been to Cyprus. Spent uh, two weeks there. On the tombs of the kings. Hi Angelos, thanks for watching us from Greece. I guess it's very late in Greece. Must be midnight now. Yeah, yeah, probably midnight. Uh, Marcelo is asking if uh, this will become a Behance project. You never know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would really? imagine. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you can tell the story. <laughs> yeah. And say it was live. You can also embed the live. You know, like the replays. Oh, really? On Behance. Yeah. You can embed okay, a YouTube cool. episode. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, George. Cyprus was very nice. I was lucky enough to stay in a very nice hotel. And, uh, yeah. This was great. I'm gonna mess around with some different colors here. We need to use your behinds, yeah. So it, I mean, it's time, you know. Uh, maybe it can be part of your routine every day. Uh, dedicate uh, 15 minutes to behinds. I know a lot of designers like they start the day with behinds. You know, they just check what's new. They check their friends, give some appreciations, few comments. Um, you can create collections. I'm a big fan of collections. I used to curate actually projects like this and say uh, the best motion design in Paris and uh, put them in collections. And you can follow, follow collections uh, created by other designers. So some are very good at spotting uh, the best lettering artists, for instance. So you just follow their collections and every time there is a new one, you will be notified. Tahar is asking, do you have a favorite designer? I think we got this question yeah, yesterday. That's a tough one. It's very um, tough. There's just so many out there that, it, and I'm constantly getting inspiration from different, um, different ones. I don't know if I have one. Um, that's something I probably should know. <laughs> just make up a name. <laughs> just make up a name. Say, yeah. <laughs> say Gus Martin. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, Gus Martin. Yeah, cool. totally. Check his work. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Friends in the chat, if you want your portfolio to get reviewed, you need to type review my portfolio in the chat. Okay, and we will take the three first entries. I will check before your work just to make sure it's uh, something we can display on the screen because I had some surprise. Surprises in the past. Okay, Laura, got you. Muge, we do Laura, Muge, and Marcelo. Okay, let me check first. Laura, Muge, and Marcelo. Okay, let's try with that and we will do more. Okay, don't worry, you will have more opportunities to get your portfolio reviews. Let's start with Laura. Yeah, let's do it. She's from Colombia. Okay. Uh, she has been watching uh, Adobe Live. Uh, since this morning, she was there yesterday. Oh wow, awesome! And she's uh, always asking very good questions. She's a graphic artist. She's also a musician. Okay, uh, master masters of art in film and video. Okay, 
So I guess she does also some uh, motion graphics. So first, when you look at the portfolio like this, like any comments? Um, um, I think just a, a comment that I had yesterday, I think mm -hmm. ab thinking about what your cover photo is um, and how they kind of sit next to each other is something to always think about. Um, and I think you did a nice job, especially with the these last, or the, the first two that appear, um, just having a, a more simplistic illustration next to a more busy photo, I think is, is really good okay. to have. So Let's she's in the video industry, so maybe we can review, maybe illustrations. Yeah, let's do it. So it's made with Illustrator. Okay. With uh, using gradients, I see that. These are really detailed. Yeah, yeah, look at the frog. Whoa. I really love this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's funny to see the evolution also. Mm -hmm. It could be funny to see the, wow, nice. So Laura, was it for a personal project or? A do you have any advice on this? Um, I have one. I, <laughs> I will let you go first. <laughs> I do like it. Um, I, I kind of wish there was more of that kind of process um, that we saw in that. Yeah, like yeah on that one. Mm -hmm. um, just because you're kind of showing all the final pieces and it is pretty interesting, just like we're doing here today, showing the process and, and how you're kind of, um, how you work and and uh, how you get to these pieces or how, how you end up with these. It's a really unique um, illustration style as well. Hmm. Yeah, I, th I feel that there is, uh, like to achieve this type of illustration or uh, the butterfly, just this one, mm -hmm. because a lot of uh, um, skills, yeah. you know, to master the gradients and right. stuff. So when I see this, like I, I love this wealth, like the, yeah, like it's it just, it's very good. You know? Right. It works very well, so it's a good job. But uh, then when I see this, I'm a little bit like, you know, like, right. uh, like uh, and, and it comes to what you were saying. So yeah, you were talking on about the project, but showcase what you prefer or what's really good, you know? Yeah, focusing and more on, on the best out of you know, you don't want to show everything that yeah. you've, you've done. Um, like every single illustrations, you want to foc focus on the ones that feel complete and the ones that um, you feel like your best work. And it was for a simple project, okay. And also I like the fact that, also you see we start with animals, like nature, mm -hmm. uh, still nature, and then there is a microphone. We're like, oh, okay. So right. maybe, uh, yeah, find a way to, to tell a story around this illustration so it makes more sense. But in terms of skill, and I mean, these are very good illustrations. Absolutely. Very impressed. Um, and then music videos, brochures. Okay, you do a lot of stuff, huh, Laura? Did you work for a music uh, band? Or did you do any CD covers? In your no, no, not really. Yeah, let's check that. Okay, cool. Uh, DVD and CD level. Return your childhood. Okay. Looks like she did this a, a while ago, 2013. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tembaleo. Oh, I like this. It's to explain, you know, that you. Right, right. You fold the. To give a more clue on the packaging. So, also, one, um, one advice in the way when you present this type of object, which I guess are. become like real objects, mm -hmm. you know, like real CD and DVDs. Uh, it's the same for magazine. It's always better also to um, like take a picture in the context, you know, like take a, a clean picture of uh, maybe the DVD cover or, or this. Right. Or it could be a, uh, um, maybe a GIF, you know, like a, a short video to show that it falls. So it will add some di dimension to your um, to your design actually. Because here it's... It was a little flat, yeah. It's, it seems flat. But thanks to these errors, you feel that, uh, okay, you have an experience, like uh, when you open um, this, uh, this uh, CD, uh, uh, CD cover or DVD in this case, mm -hmm. uh, but just show it, you know? It would be, it would be great, it would be great. Um, uh, but in, it's a global feedback because I, I already uh, also see a lot of projects that deals with graphic design, you know, layout, mm -hmm. magazines, mm -hmm. and then you just show the pages 
So you say, okay, you know how to deal with typography, it looks great. But every time there is this, like the same type of project and you see the magazine, mm -hmm. it, you're like, oh, okay. Like right. a picture of the magazine on the table, it's like, okay, now it looks great. Right. It makes a difference. But good job, Laura. Yeah. Nice. So make sure to follow Laura. And she's a big fan of Adobe Live. This is awesome from Colombia. This is great. I will add an appreciation here. Good job. Muge from the UK. Cool. Um, Muge, Muge, Muge. Graphic design, digital art illustration. Okay. Always good to add um, a little paragraph to introduce yourself, you know, to someone discovering your portfolio. Right. It takes two minutes, but just add a paragraph, you know. Say, hi, I'm Muge. I live in the UK. And I'm a graphic designer. I love doing uh, branding. You know, mm -hmm. always helps. Uh, which one do you want to see? Um, let's do top left. Just I feel yeah, like that's the, the latest. Ones. Yeah. Okay, poster design, social media. Cool. Brand agency, Istanbul. Ooh. Yeah. If I click here, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, so this happens, you know, when you don't get, like you prepare everything in Photoshop, mm -hmm. you export one image and... Right. Yeah. It's like a long image. Yeah. yeah. I prefer when it's cut because I can go full screen and do next. next right, screen. right. Yeah. Because I would love to see this poster that I really like, mm -hmm. but in uh, the full dimension. Here I have to scroll. But I really like this. Yeah. I think, like we were saying with the last one, I think mocking this up, even on a poster, um, oh, here. Yeah. Well, you've already started to do that, so, yeah. yeah. Um, nice. Gives a better perspective of what it looks like. Uh, here, here again, yeah. yeah. Showing okay. the flat and then showing the... It actually yeah, here, up. okay. Yep. Yeah. They are fast learners. You yeah. Know. You give one advice and boom, they're already... Yeah, they're already done. <laughs> he's, up, he's uploading it right now. <laughs> Wow, look at these illustrations. Yeah, these are awesome. Yeah. Maybe one more? Yeah. Anyone that um, you discover? Let me read some of these. I actually did some branding here. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, Taramiya. I like the explanation in the beginning. Cool project, mm -hmm. okay. Oh, I like this. Yeah, I like the inspiration behind yeah. it. That's awesome. Very good. The typography research. Selling mouth. Some stationary. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Gaps. Oh. It's cool. It's kind of like. Yeah, you can use dimension now. Yeah. Yeah, I like how you're, how it's being kind of separated into different colors. Yeah. So you can easily kind of understand. Oh, and those are the real. Wow, yeah, real look deal. at that. It's a real picture. Yeah, it's very good. Cool. Good job, and thanks for watching. <laughs> I like that. Okay, we follow Mugetu. Good job. And uh, Marcelo Riz from Colombia. Well done. Okay, so Marcelo, advertising, art direction, and graphic design. Cool. Can you see that first one? Yeah. Yeah. Using Photoshop here, I can tell. Graphic design and retouching. <laughs> These are great. Yeah. Great. It has a really good understanding of, of oh, I love this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you need to master light. I understand. Mm -hmm. Yep. This one is tricky. Yeah, that one is yeah. a little this one difficult. This a bit yeah. tricky. This one is great. Mm -hmm. I love with the perspective and uh, it's very epic. Wow. So let us know, Marcelo, is it a personal project or is it was it for a brand? Maybe you can add a little bit of story. But the way you use uh, Photoshop, it's very good. So we will have also some live streams on Photoshop compositing. Mm -hmm. Ah, I love this type of stuff. I don't know why. Oh, oh he has a little video. A little time lapse. Yeah, so, uh, so Marcelo, one piece of advice is that I love time lapses. Um, 
but unfortunately, like uh, using a GIF in this case, mm -hmm. you limit the palette of colors, and then like this picture looks so great. And when you see this, you you cannot feel the quality of your work. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe you can uh, create a video, right? Next time, you know, you can embed videos in on Behance. Very cool. <laughs> Again, yeah, you can tell he really masters light, mm -hmm. you know, because you see the reflection mm -hmm. here, the and again time lapse yeah i like the intent of showing how you play with the shadows the highlights and stuff but i think a video will uh, serve you more oh no it's french can i can you check that yeah <laughs> oh my god <laughs> is it for real no did they really did <laughs> master let me know if it's for real i would be surprised <laughs> your spot uh, because the Tweedy, so it's a very s uh, tiny electric car okay it's very easy and in paris it's quite popular because it's very hard to park but with the Tweedy, you can park you know uh, not in parallel but just directly like this like a scooter oh really it's very very small so i guess that's why like your spot you know i like the art direction on this <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> really is it real Maybe it's real. I will be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that was fun. Thanks, Marcelo. Thanks for sharing. Okay, we can get back to work. <laughs> it was a sketch. Ah, okay. Oh my god, you scared me. I was like Renault. Whoa. So. Um, need to reward our friends also who have been uh, very brave you know like sharing portfolios taking mm -hmm. feedback and uh, making connections so yeah make sure to follow our friends now okay we need to create this adobe live community together we will give away a creative cloud subscription to someone who will be active in the chat for the upcoming five minutes okay so make sure to either ask a question to kenny or just uh, give feedback or uh, just say something nice but say something in the chat because we have a script that will pick randomly someone in the chat to give away a Creative Cloud subscription. <laughs> Tashinga says, I'm going to fail a high school exam tomorrow, but totally worth it. <laughs> oh, sorry, because you have to stay <laughs> awake. Oh. You're super active, man. Good. Hello Tatiana. Hi Megzong. So SF, so this is new, like you want to Oh SF Cal. Oh yeah, that's your new trick. Mm. Just playing around with different colors just to see what yeah. looks best. Yeah, you have a lot of nice feedback. Uh, can you, uh, yeah, they, they want to know again the name of the typeface for PLL. It's a knockout? Knockout, yep. Knockout. Let me find the foundry. So we can give a shout out to the foundry. Oh, excuse me. Is it this one? Yeah, Hopper. Okay. It's by uh, Hopper. Oh, yeah, it's a. Uh, out. It's by one of the best foundry actually. Okay. Yeah, we can switch because I need to do a quick search. not on typekit yet so it's by Hoffler and co nice right now I'm just kind of giving some like gold touches <laughs> okay like yeah uh, to see metallic if gold yeah to see if a metallic would kind of look cool mm -hmm. 
Uh. Okay, Behance, whenever you're ready, you can pick someone in the chat randomly and we will announce the winner here. Um, I had a question for you. Oh, yeah. So, when you work, let's say you work for this customer. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in this case, you are using uh, Gotham and uh, Knockout. Yeah. So, how do you manage with them the fact of uh, licensing the titles? Um, so, you have to let the, you have to let the, if, if the artwork is just being provided, um, there's, there's l like specifics about that typeface. Um, where it's being used, so you need to make sure that the license, oh, the license is correct. Okay. Um, if they want the font itself, yeah. they have to pay for it. Um, just because when you purchase it yourself, um, it, yeah, it that's your license. Edgy. Yeah. Right. It's right. The license of the designer. Right. Uh, but then they will use it like for their brand. So, right. You recommend that the customers in this case they visit the website of the foundry mm -hmm. and they license the typeface. So, right. From a legal standpoint, they are good. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, we, we get a winner, and this is Amanda, right? Amanda Wu. Whoa, good job, Amanda. You get one year of Creative Cloud. If you're already a member, it will extend your membership. You will receive a private message from the Adobe Live team. So be ready. Congratulations. We'll do more giveaways tomorrow, okay? So make sure to come back. And we will do one more at the end of the show uh, because we are still receiving some entries of pictures created with Adobe Dimension and we will feature them, okay? And actually for this show, we don't have so many entries which give you gives you more chances to win, so... Make sure to work in Dimension now, render a picture and share this picture with us in the chat. The rules of the contest are in the contest tab on behance.net slash live. Adam is saying, as long as you don't send the OT5 of the OTF, the file of the font, usually it's okay. So it's more complex than that, uh, Adam, because if they print this, like if they use it on the design and use it on the bottle, they use it for their branding. And it's not about owning uh, just uh, the file, you know, it's about using the design and uh, licensing the, the design of these typefaces. Um, a typeface like Knockout should be around five hundred dollars. Let's say. Yeah. And when you think about the work it represents uh, to design a typeface family, it can represent maybe two years of work. So, I think it's a minimum for uh, the typeface designer. But make sure that your customers really pay attention to licensing. Uh, typefaces because that, that would be the the worst case it, it happened to someone I know who was not very cautious so he did some design like this he li as a designer he licensed the typeface and then mm -hmm. he did something for the customer and uh, and the foundry noticed the product like it was already produced mm -hmm. and then uh, attacked in a way the the customer like the brand oh really and they gave a very hard time to uh, to my friend Mm -hmm. So they are both responsible because the designer in this case, also you have to educate your customers that they have to license typefaces. Like uh, there is a PI on this. Right now I'm just seeing if I did do like a metallic on there, what that would look like. Okay. You had a you added a gradient? What did you do? Yeah, so okay. I I just Funny. selected all of the same color. Uh, so those had to be dimension we work on the laptop, i7, eight giga of RAM and two gigabit of video. It will work. Uh what will take a lot of time? I mean, you can check the technical minimal, like the requirements on the on the Adobe on Adobe.com, but uh, what takes time is rendering. Uh, 
And Zeros is asking, Kenny, do you work alone or do you work in a team? Uh, I, I work for um, the team out of um, Austin, Texas. So I, I work for an agency called Preacher. Um, and then I also do some, some freelance on the side as well. Oh, cool. I can ask you a question about this. Like wh when you work for a customer, like on a project, uh, but for the agency, mm -hmm. can you feature the project on your portfolio or no? Yeah, you can. Um, you just need to make sure that you're giving credit to to the, the agency that you work to for. To the agency, right? But they let you, uh, and the customer also, they let you uh, feature the project on the portfolio. It just it depends um, if they make you sign like a oh a NDA. Or yeah, NDA or, uh, or something like that. You can't show it. Um, until you you know they get or unless they give you permission to. Oh, so you need to ask just to be yeah, sure. Yeah, you yeah usually. Okay. So I don't know if I like the kind of foil look, and especially if we're going on a can. I don't know how much sense it makes. Mm -hmm. You can give it a try. No, in dimension, just reflect how would the you graphics. Yeah, how would you kind of separate doing? Just this oh. color. Just this guy? Yeah. On the on white or? Yeah. Uh, just selecting the, the kind of gold sections since it is kind of more complex. I think since it's going to be on an aluminum can, it'll be harder. Yeah, we can try something. So, um, we can take the, just as a test, what is supposed to be gold and metallic. Mm -hmm. So you can select it. I'll have to separate separate them out um, first in layers. Or if you select them, it's okay. You can just select so without separating, just to see. You know, oh, just okay, make a, sure. a quick test. Let me export this. Uh, no, we will try something else. Okay. Yeah. So, so select uh, what should be metallic. Okay, one sec. Without the background. Let's say it's just <laughs> this. Yeah. Okay, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, go in window, mm -hmm. libraries. Yeah, yeah. And drag and drop what you have selected in the library. Okay, now you can open dimension. Okay. And we try something. I don't know if it will work. So if you go back to design, uh, here, okay, if you scroll down, you should see there are library. Oh, here, credit for library, sorry. And it's not stock templates. I think we called it work is with Kenny. Yeah. And drag and drop it on the can to see what's going on. Should I delete this one first, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh huh. What is it? I don't know if it's in the back or. <laughs> oh, is it down here? No. Aluminium mat. Okay, mm. let's try again. Okay. Can you select aluminium mat here? Mm -hmm. Just to see what this is. And drag and drop now. Mm. Okay, can you try mine? Yeah. Okay, there's something he doesn't like. Uh, so where did you find the model of the can? Um, this was from Adobe Stock. Oh, okay. So yeah, should work. Okay, you can continue working on the illustration. Sure. Because this is a shared library, I will, I will try on my side. Okay, sounds good. Okay. We have some co collaborative work going mm -hmm. on now. Oh, Ramit says that, uh, yeah. Amazing line art and it looks great on the can. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You told me that you found it on stock.
Okay, so I, I took a white can just to test, mm -hmm. okay, and I drag and drop. Uh, so this is a free model I found us, uh, on stock. I drag and drop this. I just resize just to get a feel, okay, of what's going on here. Okay. And when you drag and drop from uh, illustration, from your library, you can here say metallic. Oh, okay. So I would push it really just to, to be crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and uh, then maybe we need a, a picture in the background, which would be better. Where is our table? Okay, he thinks that this is the ground, so I need to change the perspective here. Okay, let's try it this way. And maybe I can rotate something here and play with the environment. Mm -hmm. Increase the intensity and we will render this to see how it goes. Okay, so we can get, get a feel. Uh, I'm not very happy with the light. Put it here. Okay. And maybe we can change the texture of the can. Just trying, uh, just playing with your. I'm doing a black matte version. Okay. Uh, so, do you have any tip for uh, the committee? How, how do you choose the typeface? Like what is your methodology when you're looking for a typeface? When I'm looking for a typeface, usually I'll just like kind of enter in keywords. Um, just depends on on the look, I guess. Okay. Um, but usually I'll go on to different just kind of websites to see what's kind of trending in type and uh, mm -hmm. just to to pick something that feels unique and and uh, unique to the brand and, and feels fitting. Yeah, so this is the black matte version. Some metallic effect. Oh, okay. Yeah, just to be like the, the matte black. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of cool. <laughs> the, classy, the classy version of the beer. You can only find in club for $20. <laughs> might see what this label looks like with just a kind of a black. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Matte. Oh, maybe for a black beer, you know, a dark one. Yeah. Spencer say type of is the best site for photography. Okay, thanks for sharing. Let me check that. Type well, what's trending in type? Yeah, looks great. Looks great. Also, so if you never use the type kit engine because this is part of your Creative Cloud subscription, make sure to understand how it works and how you can browse by style. Sans serif, serif, slap serif, but also there is a way 
and of course they just change the UI so I can be embarrassed live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here, uh, browse the list. So when you browse the list, explorer list, instead of always using uh, Helvetica or Georgia, uh, you can click on alternatives to Helvetica and it will show you some uh, typefaces available on Typekit that you can license, such as Runda that I didn't know. And uh, yeah, it's a great uh, send serif that you can use in your design. Or Deja Rip. This one is very easy. And you can directly try it with uh, to see how it would behave. And you see all the families. And if there is one that you like, you can directly sync it and use it uh, directly in Illustrator. So this one, apparently, I already have this one. So to show you how it works, uh, you want to go back? I don't think I have this one. I've never heard of this one. Oh, this one is web only, okay. And then you, then you pro, okay, I can sync this one. So then you pro uh, extra light, I will take something bold, like a okay, pro bold. You click on sync. And now I can use it in my Creative Cloud uh, apps. So in uh, Illustrator, like anywhere. Okay. So yeah, make sure to check behind uh, type kits. There are many ways to browse fonts. Kenny, what are you experimenting now? Ooh, I like the dark theme. Yeah, right now I'm kind of seeing if we can't do two skews, one that's like more nighttime <laughs> <laughs> and one that's- Oh, with the moon maybe. Yeah, I was thinking about doing something like that. It'd be kind of cool. That's cool, yeah. Maybe with like a pinkish glow would be kind of cool. Oh yeah, like it. Very, uh, yeah, classy, luxury. Yeah, thing. for sure. Yeah. Hi man, so there, th if you want to check the schedule of the live videos, they, if you go on behance.net slash live, there is a schedule tab at the top, you see? There is now playing and also schedule. It will show you when we go live tomorrow. But basically with Kenny, we'll be live at the same time tomorrow. Ah, uh, you don't want to miss the portfolio reviews. Okay, so we'll do some portfolio reviews in uh, 15 minutes. Paul, you need to take a shower. Paul Van Sommeren, not you, Paul. No offense. <laughs> now, Paul in the chat says, I, I need, I'm gonna take a shower, but I don't want to miss the portfolio reviews. Yeah, yeah, man, I agree. So you just discovered the live videos on Behance. Yeah, it's true that uh, the live experience is uh, a lot of fun compared with the replay. So yeah, actually, uh, Eman, so we have um, a subscribe technology. If you check the schedule tab, you should be able to subscribe and uh, you will be notified by email the next time we go live. Next week, for instance, it will be with illustrators and digital painters. So you receive an email and say, hey, now we are live with uh, illustrator and digital painters if you want you join if you are not interested in illustration you don't join no but every week we will have a new theme so quickly we have uh, some uh, new entries for the contest we have cool. the space coffee take like it or shirk it <laughs> nice looks good we have whoa there we Someone go. Someone. <laughs> there we go. Stole some design. I like that. Someone was following. Great coast. The great <laughs> coast. Oh, I guess it's London. <laughs> That's good. This is good. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, enjoy responsible during when. <laughs> it's good. That's fun. Who did this one? Oh, that's Paul. 
who needs to take a shower. Because <laughs> ah, he was working on this one. This, this one's one. very pretty. Yeah, very professional. Le Crème. Okay, so if you want, who did this one? Okay, let me know in the chat who did this one. If you want to make it sound French, this is La Crème. L-A. Le Crème could be eventually the qu the color, but I'm not even sure. So it's La Crème. But good packaging. Yeah, the great packaging. And good um, composition, like the way they Yeah, they arranged all the everything. products in the set. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I really like that one simple, a lot. Very simple background. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good job. Keep sharing. Michel Rocha, this is you. Hmm. Good job, Michel. Hey, the Grey Coast Lager was very funny. <laughs> Yeah, you see, we have people following and working at the same time. Mm -hmm. They follow all your steps. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you align the icons that fast? Uh, so the there's the align tool. So, let's say I draw three. Mm -hmm. Duplicate this one. So. You just go like here, uh, the align up here kind of shows up. Use this one to align that way. And if they're uh, off, to distribute. Yeah. if they're off like that, you just use um, this one, sorry. Super easy way just to make sure everything is aligned. I also draw grids um, just for this one. I have kind of a uh, some guides, not grids, sorry. Um, just so I know where everything's gonna be kind of placed. Mm -hmm. oh, it looks good. Yeah, so we I have like kind of two skews. I'm not entirely sure what I want to call this one, but uh, <laughs> dark. Yeah. Oh, they will find something. We'll do like a porter or something. A porter? Yeah. Oh, it's like yeah. a darker beer. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, do that. I'm really not good. No, not really. <laughs> I'm not good. Like you say, porter. I'm like okay. <laughs> Do one more skew here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> George says, just try a little blue on white. On white one. Say it again. Well, uh, he wants you to try a, a little blue on white. On this one? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that. He wants some blue. He wants some blue. Okay. Well, let's see if I can make this last one a little bit more. Make this like a. We'll call this one. So Spencer is asking, how do you det determine the product dimensions? Are you typically typically given something from the client? Yes. Yeah. Usually they'll be able to to tell me where they're going to be printing the product, at, um, where they're going to be printing the the packaging at, um, and then usually the printer will be able to give me the template um, with the die lines and um, you know just the basic size. Hmm. Nice. 
So you call them uh, skews when you do a new yeah a new skew. Yeah, new skew. happened to my friend with the font uh, nothing he just had a hard time but uh, the customer he licensed the he understood at the end but it's always better to educate your customers in advance beforehand yeah so since I'm doing like this just one color I might bring that make this all yellow I don't know maybe that would look kind of cool yeah What do you want to put in yellow in this? Um, I want since I'm doing like this kind of like yeah, all like over silly themes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to make this one kind of like the the gold or maybe just like this yellow color. Okay. if I'm wild about this one. <laughs> so Laura, I think in this case, Kenny is using a select same fill color, select some, uh, like if you select an object, you can in Illustrator say, select all the other objects with the same fill color and then you change the color. It's another good trick. So I'm really liking this. I'm gonna try to pull this into dimension. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's try again. Can I just put this into my library? Yeah, let's try. Okay. Although we are having a hard time with this one. Yeah, maybe if I just... Uh, should I try a new one or... Oh, you want to try the one I, I was using? Yeah. Uh, so in search for a can here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then click on results, we will filter and just say models, you know, the top models, okay. And I found one which is free, okay, so if you, d oh, here, yeah, the white one. Uh, th this one? Yeah, this one. So you click on the card. Yes, okay. Okay, it's coming. Uh, can you roll over the this one? Yeah, you will. Okay, it gives you a, a progress bar. Okay, so let's place this one. Do I just drag it in? Mm -hmm. Go. Boom. Okay, and now yeah, starting up here. That's not working for some reason. What? Oh, it's loading. There we go. Okay. Press shift. Mm -hmm. kind of yeah let's um let's try the the trick i was using so if you maybe first we will go up up here in the material and we'll take the black mat so we want something like that uh-huh let me see have the decor make it a little smaller 
Okay. Maybe it should, since it is on a map black, should I take the background out of the actual design? Oh, I see what you mean. Let me try to do that. Yeah, we can try. Good idea. Is it just one? Uh, Let me expand and outline everything here. And Pathfinder. So I can drop in the library. Yeah. And maybe you can drag and drop this one directly. Work before. Maybe it takes some time to. Oh, I need to click on the can maybe first. Oh, that's probably it. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah, it looks better. Very nice. <laughs> you say it has a Art Deco, like Great Gatsby feeling. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I'm gonna try the metallic a little bit. Yeah, let's make it the metallic a little bit. And maybe in the environment, we can increase the intensity of the light just a little bit to see what's going on. Yeah, here. Want to try to render this one? Cool. I want to get almost get rid of the, the. I still have the other can in the background. How do I? Oh, okay. So move the move this one. Oh, hello you. <laughs> okay. Just delete that. Yeah. Perfect. Delete. Uh, so this is a fast render, so a preview, just to make sure we have something. Okay. Cool. Should we render? Yeah. Cool. And click on render. Yeah. You can replace. Okay. Yeah. Looks like a strong beer. You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you expect a Guinness or something. With right. This. possible to add some setting texture on the gold part. So Melissa, there is a metallic um, setting that you can play with. And then if you play with uh, rotating the the light and everything, you can have this uh, metallic effect. Can I, how do I remove the background? The image? Yeah. So it must be in the environment. You can uncheck background. Oh. Uh, up. There we go. Yeah. How do you do like a studio almost like yeah that's why this i don't know i guess it's a lot yeah that's why this i don't know exactly what this means yeah it looks like it's just i just want to like rotate it to get that it feels like and you can click on the you know like when you move it mm -hmm. click on the green to yeah here now you have everything cool. okay let's go back to the environment and let's try to figure out how we can uh just have a, a color. Um, Looks really cool with the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> Okay, so if you check the background, maybe you click on the picture. Can you remove it? Mm -hmm. It's definitely okay. So you can say color. And now you choose you choose your background color. Cool. What if we do like black on black? And here, if you open the uh, any plan plan, it's open. No, you have the shadow. And there are some parameters. Maybe you can try to render this one just okay. to see how it feels. Cool. Click on render. 
I'm gonna change the kind of angle a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you got Yeah, I wonder how it will look. Oh it kinda adjusted. Oh there oh, it yeah, is. Okay. <laughs> Nice, and I guess if you want again, if you render a PSD, you will have a separate layer, mm -hmm. so you can play with the background afterwards. You know? Right. So yeah, anyway, what is the best format to export my logo from Photoshop to Dimension? Yeah, PNG. Yeah, it's the less destructive one. Sixteen bit. Yeah, it's more than enough. Getting picky, you know. Yeah, you yeah. To find your <laughs> cool. It looks good. I like the dark version. Mm -hmm. It's very classy. Um, okay, maybe if you have time to review one or two portfolios. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's do two. Okay, you have to say in the chat, review my portfolio. We'll see who's paying attention. Mm -hmm. to <laughs> okay, George, good job. George from Cyprus. And Jasmine, okay, George and Jasmine. Just checking before. Okay, it looks good. Cool. So, George, graphic and web designer, freelance uh, from Cyprus, graduated in 2015. So, it's a cool. young designer. Let's take a look at his, uh, I like the, the kind of clean, minimal portfolio look. Let's yeah. take a look at the logos. Oh, shield and flow. You see there is a small explanation here. I like that. That's awesome. World and network. Double A, pyramid. Yeah. Yeah. I like the explanations behind each one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very soft and very smart. Yeah, you did a lot, huh? Yeah, it's a good variety. I really like that mm -hmm. um, the explanation behind each one as well. And you're not, you know, overwhelming, um, you know, people by showing like 60 logos. <laughs> so that's good. And uh, some branding. Mm -hmm. That's the human one that we just saw, saw before. Avenir. <laughs> you cannot go wrong with Avenir. Yeah, you can't. Colors, okay, with the phantom and the double A, yeah, so we got it and the pyramid. Nice. Always add something mm -hmm. when you like all the stationary mockups. Yeah, and how the brand kind of develops, even if it's minimal. Mm. I like that one a lot. It's pretty good. And he does a uh, web design too. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's the wireframe, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very corporate, this mm -hmm. one. So, I mean, it works, you know. It's hard to to say uh, anything wrong in there. And uh, Platonas Stivianu Web Design. Okay, so what are they doing? Civil and structural engineers. Whoa. Nice. I like the hero image. Mm -hmm. Very epic. Very nice little gallery. Mm. I think it would kind of be, uh, be beneficial to kind of show the hero image mocked up on an actual computer just to kind of start the. Uh, oh, good idea. Yeah, just to kind of intro and, and uh, instead of just uploading the flat images. Um, and maybe have even more of an explanation behind how, you know, you got to these different designs. Maybe actually showing that wireframe um, mm -hmm. in simpler form to show the flow of the website. Um, but very good, I like the portfolio, yeah. it's very good. Good job, George. Make sure to follow George and give some appreciations. Okay, I like the pyramid, so obviously, mm -hmm. I appreciate it. And then we have Jasmine. Jasmine, freshly tea. Oh, she does a lot of illustration, I can tell. Some lettering too. 
Okay, let's try with some tea. Yeah? Okay, sounds good. Always fresh. I'm guessing these are like kind of the logo lockups. Uh, and maybe different types of teas. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's a menu. menu yep. oh, okay. I think yeah. My my critique with this one is it feels like the the kind of the icon is very simplistic. It feels very minimal, and okay. then it's kind of it has a contrast d between the type, and I'm not sure if those are are well balanced or not. Mm -hmm. um, and especially since it feels like the logo type and the icon kind of live separately. Um, I'd almost rather see the, the logo type stand on its own um, without accompanying the, the icon with the tea leaf. Um, but, and, and maybe this project needs a little bit more to it, maybe some, some signage um, just to show that it's like a real place or. Oh yeah, to show it in context. Yeah. yeah. And a poster, coffee house. Oh, very cool. That's good. Illustration, uh, yeah. Like the long shadow, coffee house date. Yeah. Very cool. Nice choice of typography here, mm -hmm. also. Dimensional here. I'm guessing these are like templates or. Yeah, I guess for the customer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it a personal project? This one, maybe you just mean you can let us know. I guess it's from the UK. I mm know -hmm. oh Canada. How to make a California wall? Okay. Oh, step by step. Okay. Use plastic. Sorry. Maybe this is like an insert or part of a menu. Yeah. It's like. Or just a tip, you know, like just mm -hmm. to infographics maybe in the magazine yeah. where you can explain. Uh, nice. Yeah, there's a lot of going on. Yeah, I think that these could use a little bit more process to them. Um, if there's any illustrations, kind of like if yeah. you have any sketches to kind of include, just makes it um, makes the project feel a little bit more full. Yeah, and if it's a personal project because you're passionate about sushi or, you know, uh, this is also something that, or California walls in this case, is something you can share. Mm -hmm. You know, like, uh, I think it's very frustrating when you look at a project and you don't know is it really for a customer, is it a, was it a, a school project or is it personal. Right. Like, uh, be very transparent. Don't hesitate to start with a paragraph, a short description. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's always good. Also, it will show uh, your personality, mm -hmm. um, the way you communicate, the way you tell a story, right? Which is very important these days. Yeah. Okay, Jasmine, we follow your work. And I like this one. Okay, thanks for sharing. Yeah, good job. They also like, yeah, good work, good work. <laughs> okay, uh, now it's time to review uh, the entries. So if you can Let's switch, I want to cool. make sure I didn't miss anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're good. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you will have to choose the one you prefer. Okay, let's do it. So we had the White Wolf, mm -hmm. the Hot and Sweet Chili Chutney, mm -hmm. Space Coffee, the Great, the Great Coast, Coast. <laughs> and Le Crème. Okay, it's between Le Crème and the in the. I like the the Great Coast a lot. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, I think I'll have to go with the Great Coast. I like the tribute. It's yeah. it's cool. It's you cool. like the tribute? Yeah, I like the tribute. I like the the kind of rework of the design. Okay, good job, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Paul Van Summeren, you get a Crave Cut subscription, and now you have time to take a shower. Yeah. Yeah, because he was complaining in the chat. Yeah, like, yeah, he, was, yeah. he was hustling to get this thing done. Or maybe he's under the shower, shower right now. Yeah, he's got and, surprise uh, going he will receive a message. <laughs> private message on behind saying congratulations. Uh, Ashley, if yours is missing, we will uh, feature it tomorrow, okay? Don't worry. Uh, but yeah, congratulations. Well, I think this is very cool. Yeah. Uh, like this one. And it's funny that he took the time to design the, the tower bridge in London. <laughs> yeah. It's a very nice tribute. Okay, so what's the plan for tomorrow, uh, Kenny? Tomorrow we're going to finalize these designs and then um, actually uh, put them into dimension and, and render them out. Okay. Um, just like we kind of experimented with them here. So um, we'll, s we'll, we'll get these uh, files ready for print, if you will. Um, and, 
can finalize them. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, we will be back tomorrow same time with Kenny, but also tomorrow morning we'll be back with Unbreaker at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Make sure to check the schedule tab, okay, to know when we go live. And then we will have uh, Nick Longo who will be back and we will finalize the packaging for uh, Sneak Snacks. No. Yeah. Sneak Snacks. That's it. Yeah. Sneak Snacks. And uh, Cecilia will be back and Kenny. So tomorrow, eight hours of live about graphic design and packaging. Thanks for watching. You were awesome. You can take a shower. You can go to bed. <laughs> I know it's very late in some countries. Uh, we had a very fun day uh, with you watching in the chat. It was awesome. Thank you, Kenny. Yeah. No and worries. good job. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it's coming together. Yeah. yeah. Now we need to find the producer. Yeah. Here. Yeah. And and say, hey, get it done. <laughs> we have your brand. We have the logo. We have yeah, we have everything. We everything need. Everything is ready. We just need uh, right. someone who to create the beer. Right. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Thanks, everyone. See you tomorrow.